Welcome to Bank's Lines. Based in Lancaster and very close to the Lake District in England. We'd like to introduce to you today the new Super Ocean 2. Uh, they're starting to come through from Breitling. We bought a lot of these watches when we went to the Ball Fair this year, based in Switzerland. Now, these particular watches are absolutely fantastic. As you can see here, with the boxing, the Bakelite box, the yellow outer boxes that they have, the packaging is absolutely first class. The product is one of the best I've seen for a long, long time. And I feel very affordable as well. It comes in five variations. Uh, the style that they call it is the Abyss, which obviously signifies depth. And this particular one that I have is showing a stainless steel bracelet with one of my favourites, which is the yellow internal bezel. It's also available blue, red, white and also all black. But I particularly like this one. And the feature, the bezel itself, is a rubberized bezel. Now, as you can see, it's an automatic movement, so it's not quartz, it's not operated by a battery. And this particular watch retails for £2,300, which I don't think is a lot of money at all. The bezel, as you can hear, is a ratchet mechanism which goes one way only, known as unidirectional. The quarter markers and the hands are luminous but it has this rather nice little feature on the second hand which is a yellow arrow which matches with the inner bezel as I say this particular one I, I do rather like now the glass itself which is sapphire crystal is not flat it's actually cambered and it has also anti-glare both on the inside and the outside and particularly with the bright sunny days that we get up in Lancaster makes it very easy to see and also means that pressure because this particular one it will be covered to 1500 foot which is water resistant to 1500 foot the crown or button as it's also known is threaded and this will unthread when you pull it right out, the watch will actually stop. It has a special mechanism inside which stops the watch. And then you can alter the fingers. It has an intermediate position. And if you look closely, where you can actually change the date. Then when you pull it out, you can then change the hands and set it precisely. As soon as you push everything back in, away it will go. Now with any new watch, when you buy a new watch, you've got to make sure that you wind it up. 30 or 40 times before you put it on your wrist. When you're wearing a watch like this on your wrist, the automatic movement of your hands and general life will actually wind the watch up. It has an automatic rotor which rotates inside, therefore winding up the mainspring, which gives it its power. Now, these particular watches are not only a chronometer rated movement, but they are a fast speed movement, 28,800 vibrations per hour which is extremely accurate and very stable and that's one of the reasons why in this particular model which is a caliber 17 movement why Breitling use it. I myself was very fortunate to be invited over to Breitling last year and had a look around their factory. The quality and the craftsmanship and the final finish that they get on their bracelets is excellent even to the links which have screw-in links they're not the pin and tube which can wear very quickly these are actually screwed and they are each loctited individually into the links the clasp itself has a folding clasp with also a safety catch again making it very secure particularly if you're diving but these particular watches now they have also done something else which is quite unique uh, they have changed the steel they have added other compounds to it 
which makes it more resistant to salt water, which obviously is a, a big problem for any waterproof watch. Because of the depth that it goes to, they've also included a helium release valve, which opens automatically. You don't have to adjust it or do anything with it, wear it and enjoy it. When you turn the watch over, the case back is also screwed on. So everything is totally watertight. And as I say, it has a water resistance of, I think you'll find that on the dial, it may even say on the dial, 1500 meters, 5000 foot, which is special. And particularly, you would think, because of the pressure that that's under, in order to go to 1500 meters, you would expect that case to be a lot thicker. So the development, the brightening have produced these beautiful watches, uh, I think is second to none. I have a, a bright one myself, which is the Chrono Evolution watch. This is a calibre 13 movement. Very, very accurate. Again, an automatic watch. And um, I am a fan of these, I really am. The other f beauty of this particular watch, you can actually buy it with a rubber strap. And they are interchangeable. So, if you were buying a any of these watches, you, you do have that opportunity to have it with a professional diver's rubber strap or you can have it on the bracelet as it is here. Price-wise, we're looking at 2300 on the bracelet. Uh, they do a rubber strap with a folding clasp, which is 2220 And they also do it with a Pro 2 strap, again a rubber diving strap, which is £2,000. They've just started to come through. The first two or three that we've had, they sold out very quickly. Um, exceptional value for money. And I think if you look at all the other brands that are available, the quality of Breitling, the finish, the overall look of the watch, particularly when it is on your wrist, is not only smart from a sports watch, but also as an everyday timepiece. It is absolutely spot on. And um, if we can help you, have a look on our website, which is www.banksline.co.uk, and you'll see a full range of watches. Wherever you are in the country, or even the world, I mean, I think this will go out quite, quite a lot to various people. Uh, you can contact us, we have all our ladies and people to hand, and if you have any questions at all, email us with these questions. We can tell you the availability of the various colours and what is available at this moment in time. So, thank you very much for listening, and um, well done to Brightling.